Every Toy Toy Dreamworks movie? Right. Yeah, it's only like a film, so you might even this might be like a short video, but hey. Hope you enjoy the content. And by the way, uh, you probably already know who number one is. It's very obvious, but hey, enjoy the ride. I'm still a piece of garbage. Honestly, I don't know what to say about this movie. It is very lifeless and pointless that I don't even want to download some clips to this movie, really. It is just a nothing movie. Moving on. The Boss Baby 2. Uh, I don't really like this movie. It has, it has the same problems as the last movie where it has some unnecessary imagination scenes. And uh, what else? Oh, the movie is about stopping Jeff Goldblum from starting a baby uprising. Uh, yeah, this movie makes no sense for me and it's very unfunny. The only good part is where we're Jeff Goldblum as the villain and yeah, bad movie. You've been trolled. Troll World Tour! This is a bad movie. Not as bad as Boss Baby or Spirit Not Special. But yeah, this movie is, has some unnecessary pop songs like the first one. And the plot is like a fantasy war where the villain has to get like six things to wipe out the entire population. Well, in this case, wipe out their entire music personality. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this movie has nothing epic about it. The villain is fine. The different genre trolls were okay. And overall, it's not a film worth your time. Moving on. Ruby Gilman, uh, Teenage Kraken. I'm sorry, Teenage Kraken fans, but I did not like this movie. Like, it has some nice stuff, like Ruby herself and her uncle are kind of sweet. The animation is good. Yeah, that's all I got. This movie is about Ruby Gilman wanting to be a normal team, but oh no, she's a big old Kraken. Barely only happens to her females. So, uh, she uh, joins her grandma in an epic bottle. But then she tries to the dance he is. but she wants to be a normal teenager okay how do I get best of ruby rubies and connor relationship it's just like whatever chelsea like an all right villain as a twist villain i don't know there's the old guy who who's a twist streamer so that's odd and yeah this movie's kind of bad but i can see why people like it i'm good and that's bad the bad guys this movie's okay like, I like the art style and the whole premise of the bad guys pretending to be good, only to be real guys at, real good guys in the end. I'm starting here, guys. But some of the, some of the movie feels off to me. The characters were fun. There is your Chelsea's humor there with the pir piranha party and the freaking, uh... Mmm... I forgot what it was. Alright. The villain's kind of bad, like, his motives are... I'm gonna use all my guinea pigs to just uh give me money and become the greatest bill of all time. Mm, okay. And not and not so uh I don't know what to say about this movie though. Know. It's it's okay, okay. It's all it's alright movie. Moving on. All your needs will be met. I'm hungry in a minute! The Cruise of New Ways is a pretty good movie. Oh, um, I'm sorry. It's a it's a pretty okay movie. I have my alert about review at three stars, and yeah. And yes, this movie is pretty is pretty okay since like I put it around the bad guys because I got more enjoyment out of it. And this movie is about the caveman, meaning the the bear the bear man, where they gotta feed this monkey that that feeds our monkeys and. uh Monkey gets defeated because peanut soup and uh, and movie's very good, not very cool, very okay. Yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. I would like to hear some more details about Cruise the New Age because I I I basically like forgot m m most of it. I just I just remember it was being okay. It was alright. Moving on. Not gonna lie, I like this movie. This movie is very, very good. It's a 7 out of 10, okay? But this movie 
but this movie's pretty. I love it. Velvet and Veneer are good villains, like you, like you expected me to say, and and yeah, the the movie and the music's not that half bad. It does it does reference some boy bands here or there, unless I unless I unless I find annoying though. It does it does have those pop songs, but hey, but hey, this, this is easily the best prose film, and 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 that surprised me because a good trolls movie. Really, really, really just made me feel like I, I like this movie, man. I don't know what else to say. This. This is definitely the most underrated Dreamers movie. And I will highly be appreciated if, ever, if anyone else likes this movie. Moving on. What else is there to be said? This movie is so amazing. From Jack Horner being the funniest person of life, from Puss and Boots having a great arc, Perito being the cutest puppy, and Death well, Man, he being the best, best dreamer villain of all time. Ugh, his haunting presence really, it's really good, man. His whistle, man, that haunts me. And also, uh, Trek 5 that happened. So, what else would be said about this movie? It's amazing, and you know it. Puss Boost the Last Wish. Baby, yeah, yeah.